Welcome back to Afternoon Express. Now, we have been finding out from you on our social media platforms, what is your favorite side? You can almost have curry with anything from roti, rice, naan, in bread. So, Chef, what's your favorite accompaniment? Honestly, I'm a sucker for naan and I love papa. <laughs> Okay. okay. <laughs> I like that. A little bit of a change of pace when I do me. I mean, it has to be a roti palisa. Whether it's a lamb curry, whether it's a chicken curry, just give me my roti because I can just fill it up and put it in my mouth. Yeah, okay. <laughs> On that roti tip, <laughs> since Tuesday, we've been talking all things curry. But a curry always needs a perfect accompaniment. And this is why we've decided to focus on something that can elevate any curry to the next level. What am I talking about? Dumi's perfect roti. So, Dumi, to make this, you've put us all to the test. Ah, uh -uh, Palace, I've not put you to the test. All I did was put the ingredients together. This man here is putting us to the test. Okay, cool. <laughs> because it's, apparently it's, there's different it's kinds of It's very simple. Okay. There's various, various types of rutis. Okay. If you go to India, there's, there's not a debate. In South Africa, it's a debate among sort of like households, what's the correct ruti? And it's mainly the Malay-style ruti, which is in Cape Town, the Western Cape, with the Dutch settlers and then the one from Durban. The one from Durban is plain. It's what we're making now because I grew up making this. So me too. Please, don't <laughs> kill me. And then the flakier one, which is the Malay style that you find a lot in the Western Cape area. Yes. It's kind of, it is parata basically, but we just call it one term, like we call curry in South Africa. One term, it's more complicated mm. in India. So we're going to make the standard Indian roti that we get in Durban over here. Okay. The flakier one, like paratha, is what you get in the Western Cape. Okay, okay let's keep it simple. Let's simple. keep it to Durban. <laughs> Since we've already focused on a Durban chicken curry, let's stick to that theme, yeah. make that beautiful roti here. So what do we need? Okay, so basically all you need is water and flour okay. and salt. That's it. But then to enrich it, we've got a bit of ghee over here and we've got some oil. Okay. So what you do in the beginning, I just got, could you pass that bowl to me? Please? Sure, no to problem. Me. So I got four cups of flour and two cups of water. So I look at half hydration to the amount of flour that I have always. Okay. Just a simple way to look at it. Okay. When we make this, we always do it by eye. So you sort of feel the texture of it and then you go with it. Okay. In the beginning, you just want to add your flour that's sifted and your salt to it. Okay. And then you want to add your oil in the beginning. Okay. So what you want to do is sort of crumble your oil into the flour. So just gently forming little small pockets of oil. Because as we incorporate it and make the dough and later on roll it out or boil them, portion mm. them and roll them out, you got these pockets of oil that sort of mm. like heat up and elevate. That's what lifts up and gives it a fluffy yes. inner texture when you're done or baking it. And I can already feel those granules, those mm. oil yeah, pockets yeah. that Chef is talking about within the, the, the flour. So that's essentially what we're looking for. As soon exactly. as you can feel it, that is what Chef's talking about. Definitely. So once you get to that point, you can see it's literally there and you can yeah. feel it. There's little bits and pieces in between there. Mm. You just want to sort of clean your hands out and then boiling water, very mm. importantly, needs to go into You can use a wooden spoon or a spatula just okay. to mix it together because the water is quite hot. Okay. Yes, everyone went silent because this is not an easy feat. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of concentration here, but Chef, it kind of comes together quite nicely. And then as soon as all of my boiling water is in the, the bowl, can I just kind of go wild with it yes, to stir can. everything together? Now, Chef, you've already mentioned that in India, there are eight different types of roti. Now, what makes roti so specifically good, especially as an accompaniment for a curry? I think it's just that sort of combination of this charred, flaky bits of bread combined with the stretchy sort of like uh, luscious dough that you could just soak up or nap up into mm. your curry. That's what makes it so special. That's what it's all about for me, Dumi. You'll let me know if this is why you love roti. For me, I have more fun when I'm eating with my hands. <laughs> if I'm able to enjoy my curry, dip that roti in as almost like a spoon. Exactly. Dip that roti yeah. in the curry. Because exactly it's kind it. of like a utensil for us. We eat with our hands. So True. Yeah. You never use knife and fork, so I think your braids are... Kind of like your utensils in a sense. Mm. Chef, you did mention something when we were speaking uh, beforehand that if you do make a roti, you don't want to overwork it. Uh, do you want to explain why you wouldn't want to do that? No, you literally just want to sort of bring it together. Okay. Because if you overwork it, you're going to sort of agitate the gluten and it's not going to be as flaky as it usually ah, is. Correct. Mine has 
incorporated as well as yours. Does that mean I just have to keep... No, actually, mine isn't incorporated as well as yours. Oh. <laughs> so I think it's kind of like set me up here with the water content, so I'm going to take myself. over yours. <laughs> take over mine, Chef, happily. <laughs> okay, so let's swap places. She's got the correct one over here. You just want to bring it... I should have just felt with my hands there. <laughs> so you just Perfect. keep working that in, making sure that it is badly says consistency. <laughs> uh, do you also was, doing well there? I think so. Once it gets to so. consistency... <laughs> oh, my God, thank you so much. My oma's going to kill me, but anyway... Okay, right, you then. got this consistency, it's just come to the, together, all right? Mm -hmm. Then at this point, what you want to do is sort of poke a few holes into it. Okay. Let's clean my hands out. No worries. And to me, I think on your side, you've already separated um, a roti piece. Correct. Would I call it a roti piece? You've separated your dough, essentially, and now you're rolling it out. Now you're doing something a little different. You're trying a different technique. Normally, I would use this bad boy. <laughs> yeah, I want to pin. But Udomi is using um, some cling wrap rolling paper. Correct, but it's some plastic wrap or a wine bottle. Anything in this cylindrical form would work because all you're trying to do is just basically make sure that you, you flatten whatever the roti is. And Chef, tell me if I'm wrong. I've put some butter. Okay, but we're supposed to put the butter like sort of in, in between these holes there and then work As it in well. at the end. So oh, okay. exactly what you're doing is fine. It's still fine. So and what I'll just do... sort of fold it together. You'll see it will become much more easy and pliable to work with once you add the ghee oh, inside Okay. Of it. All right. I love that on Chef Station, he's fully incorporated the ghee into his dough. Domi's did it a little bit differently, <laughs> but there's nothing wrong with it as well. Making sure that she then oils her very, very hot pan with that ghee, and then you've already separated um, your dough, you've plopped it on there, Correct. and essentially, Domi, you just give it a little one-two, one-two, a little turn yep. on each side. On each side, Bale, and it comes out looking like this, and all you do is just spread a bit of uh, um, fat spread on there, and this is all you've got, Bale. So if you'd like to add more flavoring to this, you could, you could add some garlic, you could add some uh, herbs to it, and that's in essence all it is. Easy, simple, and delicious. And how long does this take? Uh, we, in, in my mind, what we do is we normally look until it's nice and golden brown, then okay. flip it over. <laughs> so we're feeling the oil pockets. We're looking to see if this is good, making sure that it is flaky, warm, and soft. I mean, these are some of the words that you need to describe a roti. So if you would like to make this dish as well, please head over to afternoonexpress.co.za for the full recipe and ingredients list. Now, we love to literally stir the pot on <laughs> Afternoon Express, but coming up, we're turning it into a fun game. Plus, Utumi gives us an incredible story in Sisutu.